Welcome to the rocket profile of Cosmos 3, the quiet workhorse launcher for the Soviet Union. The first stage of the Cosmos 3 has a single RD-216 engine unit, which is actually a pair of RD-215 engines, each with two nozzles. This arrangement is somewhat reminiscent of the LRA-9 engine on the Titan rocket, which is actually a unit of two separate engines that are nevertheless counted as a single engine. Having four nozzles is also typical of many Soviet stages, the core and booster stages of Soyuz and Zenit, for example. The stage provides 1,739 kilonewtons of thrust in vacuum and a sea level thrust of 1,480 by burning unsymmetrical dimethyl hydrazine with AK-27, which is a red fuming nitric acid with 27% nitrogen tetroxide. It has a specific impulse of 289 seconds in vacuum and burns for 2 minutes and 13 seconds. To steer, the engine uses jet vanes to redirect the thrust rather than gimbling the engine. The Cosmos 3 rockets were based on the R-14 ballistic missile, unlike the Cosmos 2, which was based on the R-12. The difference between the 3 and 3M is a slight uprating of the RD-216 as well as improved control of the second stage. The second stage engine is called either 11D-49 or S5.23, and it provides 157.5 kN of thrust with vacuum ISP of 303 seconds, burning the same propellant as the first stage. It uses a set of verniers for attitude control. It has a maximum burn time of about 5 minutes and 58 seconds, but can be lit twice to enable delivery of payloads to different orbits. The Cosmos launcher should not be confused with the Cosmos naming convention used for Soviet and then Russian payloads. While the Cosmos 2i did launch Cosmos 1, the first payload to get a Cosmos designation, most Cosmos payloads are not launched on Cosmos launchers. The Cosmos 3 began launching in 1964, while the 3M had its first launch in 1967. The rocket family was retired in 2010. In that time, Cosmos 3M didn't get to launch the flashy payloads that its other frequently launched brethren, the Soyuz U and the Proton did, but it did make over 400 launches with a success rate of 95.5%. Part of the reason it isn't mentioned very often is its poor payload capacity. It's only a 109 ton launcher on the pad, but it also only carries 1.5 tons to low Earth orbit, which is a pretty poor payload fraction. Part of the reason for this is its use of hypergolic fuels, which are storable and therefore make sense for ballistic missiles, but are inefficient for launch vehicles. More important though is its small size, which leads to a high structural mass. Nevertheless, it did its job for many decades. Thank you for watching this rocket profile of Cosmos 3.